Hi guys, welcome to the first installment of Gotta Speaks Question of the Week. And uh, every week I'll be doing a question or I'll be posing a question to you guys and I would like for you to type in your answers and be honest. Let me know what you actually think or what your thoughts are or if you have experiences based on any of these things. We're dealing with relationships and you know, almost anything goes with relationships uh, as you've seen from everywhere to, you know, happy lives to betrayal, you know, the cheating, killing. I mean, all kinds of crap happens with relationships. But I would like to hear your responses. I welcome video responses as well as just typing your answer or what have you just as long as you do it here on YouTube. Uh, also, if you have um, a question for later on that you'd like for me to ask, you can just post it right here and uh, I'll be reading all of that stuff. So here we go. Would you rather have a relationship where you were cheated on and you were you know, done wrong, um, infidelity, extra children, that sort of thing, uh, where that person <clears throat> did you wrong, but you have like some kind of really uh, deep connection or what have you. And that person like worships you and will, is, will try to make amends or what have you. I mean, I guess everybody tries to make amends, but it's just, I'm trying to figure out a way to pose the question to make it where you guys can actually answer. So if you have someone that has um, cheated in a relationship and or cheated repeatedly in a relationship, but at the same time, you know that they love you, like it's not a question of, does this person even love me? You, don't, you may not know what the issue is, that's actually their issue but they love you, they go out places with you, you know, you guys have a great time, you connect on every other level except for that. You love each other, but you just, because of the infidelities and whatnot, has caused a rift in the relationship. But everything else is so perfect. Would you rather have that kind of relationship or would you have the kind of relationship where there's no cheating, there's there's just 100% faithfulness, but this one keeps cheating, but everything else is perfect. With this one, everything is perfect, but you have to be private. And when you go out, you can't go out and do the, the, the pictures or you can't just, you know, tweet or say in front of all of you know his people or anybody hey I love you so much you know because you're a secret your your relationship there's no infidelity there's no anything the only issue is the fact that you can't get the love 24 7 that you would want as a woman and I'm posting these questions mostly to women, but anybody can answer. I'm, I'm just truly curious on which relationship sounds better if you, if you had to choose between one or the other, because to me, the obvious option is don't deal with either one of them. But if you had to, if there's no third option and you had to be forced to choose this option or this option, which one would you choose and why? What's the lesser of two evils to you in, in these scenarios? Uh, I am so excited to hear. So put your answers right there. Let me know what you think. And thank you so much for joining Gotta Speaks Question of the Week. Mm -hmm.